and the propagandists on the right. Now, they're not smear merchants. There's a difference. But on the left, it's all about the smear. All about the smear, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it is. We speak without fear while basing it all in fact. The word progressive today is a code word for the new communist movement. Being a liberal is easy. It takes no guts to be a liberal. It is one of the most gutless choices you could make. Conservatism, on the other hand, is, well, that's tough. It's an intellectual exercise. George W. Bush, however, uh, is a man who I think has the advantage of knowing what he doesn't know. And that's a good thing. It's not what Obama knows. It's what you think he knows. It's what he makes you think he knows. Why don't people like, why don't people like Rush Limbaugh? Because he's abrasive, he's divisive, he's a fat, pill-popping idiot. He is a passionate, articulate, conservative voice. Feminism was established so as to allow unattractive women easier access to the mainstream of society. You must love the Rush Limbaugh Viagra story. First That's... of all, it seems like a little redundant for him to take Viagra, you know? The fact that he takes it, he gets told. Now, we've been very concerned and curious and mystified uh, by what's been happening. If we're going to torture, we should torture. If we're going to do it, let's stop firing right, it out to somebody Let's else. stay focused here. We'll get to the pot in the moment. I'm riddled with ADD. Yeah, let's, let's, let's get to the fun. Stay focused. Focus. <laughs> the comfort of today's mythical homespun, aw shucks, TV totalitarian lonesome roads, Glenn Beck, is that every day he gives away the essential truth that he is an idiot. Dunking somebody's head in water is not something that the Japanese were prosecuted for, and it certainly is not torture. Well, I, I heard that Joy Behar asked you if you wanted to be water, waterboarded, and your answer was... Uh, and I said on this broadcast four times, and this will be five, that if the Bush administration invades Iraq and there's no weapons of mass destruction to be found anywhere and everything's clean, I'll apologize. I'll say I was wrong. I'll never trust the Bush administration again, and I'll vote for whoever the Democrats put up against him. I will do that. I promise you. For all those lefties out there who say that everything is Bush's fault, fine, I'm going to give you the opposite side. I blame everything on Clinton, but this is because of Clinton. It was Bill Clinton who made us comfortable with the notion that we're a nation of buttheads. What? That we're all out of the trailer park. Just, Just like, like Clinton. Clinton. Clinton lowered the bar for what kind of a person you had to be in order to be famous in this country. What? So it is Clinton's fault. Well, I do. I just, you think Hillary Clinton could, could use one square of toilet paper?